Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're... We need to upgrade our equipment. Oh, well. So, back in uh, Night of the Dead, and as you can see, I've lost my eyebrows and beard again. Let's and uh, easy. Ashley, do you mind? Just hold on a second. And uh, there's something about people who just have a moustache, isn't there? Um, yeah, I worked with someone before, and he thought he was very grand... Just because he had a moustache. I haven't got a problem with it, but yeah, there's just something, something about it. Um, anyway, so in this episode, we need to move to the hospital and do some other stuff over there. So let's go and crack straight on with that, shall we? Right, come on, Ashley. Nice one. And we'll close that behind us. I've never tasted anything better than this. What did you just eat? It sounded... Awful. Right, bad up there. Okay, and um, yeah, sorry that there wasn't any upload yesterday, actually. Um, but yeah, I've been so busy, and um, yeah, it's making me feel quite ill. So uh, yeah, the time that I did have to record yesterday, I just I didn't feel up to it. So that's the first time I've not recorded or not put something out in five hundred. 90 days or something but yeah i won't make a habit of it don't don't you worry right so we've got a zombie over there oh and a zombie here as well hello mate not like ashley okay time to she take a break now, now. Sweaty armpits. All right, you go and take a break, Ashley. I'll go and deal with the hospital. Don't you worry. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, he walks a bit funny, doesn't he? He walks like a Londoner. Did you see that? A Cockney. Not one of them posh Londoners. Right. Oh. Oh, naked man. How are you doing? Okay, so he's taking quite a bit of killing, isn't he? Do you mind, mate? Can't just be the whole episode hitting him with a crappy knife. Um, right, let's search the ambulance. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Break. Um, are you causing trouble? Is that someone in a dressing gown? Okay, yeah, so some of the textures and stuff are quite jank, aren't they? But some of them, I think, are excellent. So I like the hair, for instance. I don't like the fact that I haven't got a beard. Can't be bothered. Let's just go in the hospital. Right, um, we don't want to trade anything. Knock, knock. Ah. Oh, we're hungry. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a curtain. Pull yourself together. Um, I don't really know any hospital jokes. I know jokes that'll put you in hospital. Um, I'll take them. Oh, hello, mate. How are you doing? It is a doctor. It's two doctors. Okay. Right, have I turned my headphones up really loud or something? Because it seems exceptionally loud. So I am really sorry, everyone, if um, all of a sudden you're all deaf. Like me. Okay. Right, did we have a torch? Yes, we did. Like right, are they epileptic? I don't think they are. Hello, Ashley. How are you doing? Sniffing your armpits again. Right, what's this order thing? Oh. 
You're asking me to do this? Yes, please. That would be amazing. And then close, I suppose. Close, I suppose. That rhymes. Knock, knock. Okay. So, working. Okay. She doesn't appear to be doing anything, does she? But maybe she can't go through these things. Oh, for goodness sake. There's no rest, is there? It's like my life. There's always something to be doing. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Um, saying daisy, one of my next clients is called Daisy. Who would have thought it? And that's actually her real name. Good luck to her and her parents. Right, let's go. Hello. Right, we've got... I'm going to have the light on because it does seem very dark. Got a lovely view out the window. Let's have a look in here because there's usually something good in here. Uh, machete. Right, that is going to be an improvement over the kniffy, isn't it? Why can't I put it down there? Do I need to put it over here first? Alright, that's a little bit sadistic, isn't it? Having to make us do that. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's a little bit harsh on the game saying that it's sadistic. Um, okay. Right, are we all good? Ah, oh, I thought that was an eye then. There. But it, it's snot. Can you check the bin? You can't. Right, here we go. Oh, a double room. Could have just come through this door, look. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Take that. Okay. I wonder how high this building is. Oh, God. I've just had a flashback of when I was in... It wasn't a hospital. It was an old people's home many, many years ago. That's weird. Because the story involves a lift. And, um... Yes, yeah, so I was in this place and I need I was doing pest control, so it was actually wasps. And um wasps were in the My goodness, this building's gonna be huge actually. Yeah, wasps were in the very top of the building. And the equipment that I had to take up wasn't that heavy. But the um girl that was kind of showing me around the um I don't know if she was a nurse or just receptionist or whatever. But she said it oh it's right at the top and it's however many floors and she said you can go in the surface lift if you want and I said oh that'd be lovely thank you and she said it's very small and I underestimated how small she meant it was right let's get rid of this fool first oh look I'm all green um is Ashley still being attacked Ashley no you're there right there's one coming down the stairs Ashley yeah I underestimated how small it would be and she said, I'll meet you up there. And I said, no, jump in the lift with me, surely. And she went, oh, it's very small. And I said, I oh, will manage. Oh, my goodness, everyone. Oh, my goodness. I've never told anyone this story. Because if I'd have told the girl that I was with at the time, she would have um, she would have left me for sure. But it was so awkward. So went up to this tiny little door that looked like a cupboard. And um, she said, it, it's in here. And all I had was... Um, a little thing about the size of a grenade. Oh my goodness. A little thing about the size... Mm. Size of a grenade. And you put, um, Ficam D inside it. And, uh, yeah, and then, like, pumped it into a wasp nest. And, um, yeah, I had one of them. I had the tub of Ficam D that you just carried... And then I had some poles in a bag. So it wasn't much. But the door opened. And then I went in first. Put the little thing down on the ground. And I was thinking this is way too small. So it was basically 
you see two of them ceiling tiles. It was smaller than that. And she said, oh, I'll take the stairs. And what I should have said was, all right. Or, I'll take the stairs. But I said, no, we'll be all right. Oh, God, I completely underestimated how long it took to get up there as well. It was so intimate. So, so intimate. And it was shaking, not loads. Like, I wasn't swaying around like that. But it was shaking just enough that I... Like, we kept touching each other. And, um... My goodness. And then, yeah, like, when the lift door opened obviously she was she'd come in last so she was the first to get out but it was so small she struggled even turning around so she had to kind of back and slide out and uh oh god it was like i felt like i'd been in there for hours with her she was lovely but um i just felt like it was so intimate she was probably pregnant that's how awkward it was. So yeah. I wonder how tall this building is. Madam, I haven't got time for it. Right. Let's um have a look in here. You're right, Ashley. <laughs> so I'm not getting in the lift. Okay, right. Madam. I don't mean you any harm, but I am going to kill you. Okay. Right, so a quick kind of update on the game. I am enjoying it, but... Shall we take a breather for a moment? Aspirin. Um, I am enjoying it, but... I think that... Um, most people shouldn't put it on easy or whatever setting I've put on because obviously I'm talking as I'm going and I I don't think I've come even close to death. Um, I don't really like that hit thing either so I'm struggling to get that hit thing. So I imagine that's like a multiplier. If I hit a zombie on that little red bit that comes up I imagine it does more damage, just a guess, because of games like uh, Rust and things like that. So on Rust it does that when you hit trees or rocks, a little um, gold star thing comes up and then yeah, you do further damage. Are you being like Johnny, running around on all the furniture and stuff? Right, I don't, are you one about? Nope. Still haven't seen any other YouTubers um, play this yet. So obviously I wouldn't watch it. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't watch it, but I do look out for thumbs and stuff. Can you smash the window? That thing is what I was talking about. The little red dot. Yeah, I imagine that's some kind of multiplier. Okay. Oh, coffee. Right, talking about coffee, I'm going to have a sip of tea. Cheers, everyone. Oh, Slancha. Right. Rotten coffee. Okay. Starbucks it is. I shouldn't say that. The only Starbucks that I've been in have been absolutely terrible and extortionate. So that's why I've said that it's rotten coffee. But I'm sure the one near you is absolutely perfect. Uh, okay. But still exceptionally expensive. Right. Um, we've got so much to search. So something's coming up up there. But is it just here? That um, book at the top of the screen there. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go up at least one. All at a cash machine. So, what I'm going to do, because we live so close to this place, I'm not going to search the rest of the bottom of this just yet. Let's just get upstairs. Darkness is starting to fall. And have a little look-see. Right. I'm going to be in here.
Uh, it's going to be up some more. What's that? Fairy toothpaste. Okay. Well, that's very expensive. Um, right. I am being careful as I be attacked by a zombie. My goodness, kick her right up there. Boxy. Right, let's go up again. Oh, yeah, look. Proper dark. I. Oh, so, yeah, you can properly go through the uh, thing doing that. How are we both doing? You right? Right. She wants him. Okay. Right. Is it this? Oh, what's that? Ignition coil. Lovely. Um, and, yep, yeah, it's still not that. So we're going to have to go up again. Hopefully it wasn't down. I didn't see steps going down. So let's go up again. Okay, out of stamina. Right. Oh, look, it's, it's definitely on this level. Here we go. Dr. David's Diary. That's a lot of Ds. Um, despite the appointed time having long passed, the guard who was supposed to deliver the mutant substance hasn't come. I clearly heard that he had left, so why hasn't he arrived? Although I'm upset about the situation, I can't just sit idle. It seems the administrative staff of the research centre are involved in this matter, but what could be their intentions? Now prompt action is required. Lovely. I was just about to check my emails, actually. Dr. David's diary shows that he never received the mutant substance. Water lied. I kind of expected that. Water, scared of zombies, is hiding on the first floor of the hospital. It might be a waste of time, but let's ask the cowardly Walter about this. Veronica's got a lovely voice, hasn't she? She really has. The inventory looks slow on space. Oh, great. Right, we won't worry about checking that. So, we still need to go up loads then, do we? It looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, no, we are on the top floor. What's that say? Um, first medical centre. Um, oh, okay. We need to go up on the roof. Or roof, as some say. And some people say tooth instead of tooth as well. But it's fine to pronounce things differently. One day, people will realise that. That just because you pronounce something some way, it doesn't mean everyone has to. Yeah, just looking in the comments there. Right. So, where is he then? Is he up on the top of this bit? Can we climb this then? No. What am I doing? What's occurring, Ashley? I'm so confused. I can't see the little thing. We're not going in the lift. Oh, God, cringy. By the way, so after I treated the nest, I found my own way down. And then she was... What's that? Plasters? Yeah, she was sat at the reception thing. And as I was walking towards... Because the corridor walking down there was quite long. As I was walking towards her, I just saw the red seeping into her face. And I thought, yeah, same here. Same here. 
And as I left, being a dickhead, I said, same time next week. And I thought, oh, God, no. I hope not, because I'd, I'd just drive off a bridge if I ever had to see her again. Um, right. Okay. Oh, why is the book thing still there? I don't get it. Um, oh, move hospital 1F restroom. Um, well, 1F. But the trouble is, it's not saying what floor I'm sodding on. 1F. Is that just floor one? Right, so floor zero, surely. Floor one. So then what do we just go around searching every room? Because he's not going to just appear, is he? Oh my goodness. Hello? Anyone? Right, we'll check these. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. They said my inventory was full. It wasn't her inventory, was it? Oh god, this is going to be so infuriating for the viewers. Thank you everyone for still being here. I am sorry. I'm sorry I'm an idiot. What's that? It's a plane. I haven't seen one of them for ages. It's time to take your physical abilities up a notch. Oh, where's this wagoner? Uh, that's the same room, Jolly. Right, is there any indication as to what floor we're on? Restroom. Have I seen any restrooms? That's like a scope and a silencer. Okay. Right, this doesn't look like a restroom, does it? Um, I might have to pop you on pause. And then just go room to room trying to find a sodden bathroom. You've already leveled up quite a bit. Can't I just shout at this boat? Oh, um, so it's frozen. The game's frozen. Okay, and it's back again, obviously. Let's take it easy. Yeah, let's. Where's this sodden wagoner? All right, I'll search these rooms down here. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think we're going to be in a spot of bother in a second, actually. There's someone behind you. Oh, hello. And yes, I was just dancing to the siren. I hear music and everything. Right, nice work. Okay, so I think we might be on it. I think it might be this room. Hello. Ashley. Ashley. Ashley? Just can't take her anywhere. Ashley, come on now. Come on, he's down here. <sighs> Hello. She shut the door. Oh no, there's no mutant substance here either. The truth is, I urgently needed money. I had no choice but to sell the mutant substance to Colonel Victor. 
It wasn't the right moment to talk about it earlier. Anyway, Colonel Victor is keeping the mutant substance in the military base instead of me. You have to go to Colonel Victor's military base. You still need my help. So, our deal is still valid, right? It was just a minor communication error. You need an access card to enter the military base. I have the access card at my house. Okay, what were you saving up for? Voice acting lessons. Okay. Pick your nose. I've got to go and help Ash. Oh. All right. We just wasted time because of cowardly water. Unfortunately, right now. Veronica, should I hit him? The only option we have. Let's follow cowardly water for now. Yes. Walter's house is in the residential area. I sometimes have dreams like this, where I can't quite reach, or I'm in a fight and they start running off and when I'm running it's like I'm running in water you know when you're treading water and you just can't move that quick you alright Ashley? he's um he's unpunchable okay right so what's it say now um go to his house and take equipment security box right yes nope Invincible. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, he just needed the loo. Alright. Solved. Bit of jolly luck. Right, Ashley, it's alright, I trapped him in the ladies. Oh, is that a sprinter? Right, let's have the torch on. Oh, I'm starving as well. No, it's not a sprinter. It looked like it from up there, didn't it? I mean, it still does a little bit. But the bonnet's too long. I think. I like a sprinter. Right. Oh. You're Andy to know. So much anymore. Right, um where's that fire? Was it I just can't remember. Was it this way? Yeah, there it is. It does look like a sprinter. Maybe it is. Maybe I just forgotten the proportions of one. Yeah, lovely to drive, Mercedes Sprinter. Then most Mercedes are nice to drive, aren't they? One day, one day I'll have a veto. Don't you worry. And it'll rust like hell, but I'll still have a veto. Right, can we cook this? Not by the looks of it. So what can we cook that I've got on me? Nout. Um, do I just eat this then? Um, do I have to eat it from inventory? Yeah, there we go. So, I know it's a bit of a waste, but we'll have... My goodness. Alright, three cans of beans. Oh, why is it uh, blue above this lady? Don't know. Right, so, M. Um, so, the house is that away. And we've got some stuff on us. We probably should... Oh. Yeah, it is a laundrette. That does actually look... Um, that's exactly the same as the... My goodness, it is, look. It's exactly the same as Arcade Paradise. The layout inside. So you go through that door and the arcade's there. There's the toilet on this side. Let's go in and have a little look, shall we? Yeah. Hello, I did a series in here, mate. A long time ago. Yep. Exactly the same. Been there. Oh, actually, was the toilet here? 
No, the toilet wasn't here. It was through here, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's a shame. So it's not exactly the same, but close enough. Okay. I, d I don't think many of my subscribers are still watching my content from then. People get sick of Johnny. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty sure the door was there for the bathroom then. You've got a blockage. And then, yeah, the uh, the washing used to come in on a little table here. And then you'd have to wash it. And you'd have to take it over to the dryer. Oh, that was a fun game. Fun, fun, fun. It was actually all the fun. All right, we'll take a rubber because we never know when we'll need that. Um, I was going to go and put stuff back in storage, but let's have a look on exchange. Trying to take my stuff again? Yes, I am. Um, so fuse. Yeah, look, she's got all the stuff. All right, let's take all. Yeah, and then we'll quickly bung what we can in storage. And then at least she starts with a clean inventory. What's that there then? Don't know. Okay. Right. Watch the door for me, boy, please. Okay. And so we can stack the rubber. Um. There's another zombie got in. Oh no, she's destroying this place now, isn't she? Uh, yeah, we'll put that in there too. I'm not going to worry about getting this perfect, but just some of the stuff in here would be great. Um, that. Not really much else, is there? Alright, that'll do then. Hello, smashy smashy. Right, and then we'll shut that door so the... Oh, God. Zombies can't go in. Oh. Oh. So I'm holding a machete. I wonder what that little image was down there then. Thought I wasn't enjoying the game anymore. Right. So day two. Someone I used to work with was really good at impersonating Big Brother, that bloke that says dare to or whatever. And uh, yeah, I was working with him on a building site. And every morning he'd come and find me. Like even if we weren't working anywhere near each other, he'd come and find me and tell me how many days we've been on site. Dickhead. It was funny though. And I'd, I'd stop whatever tool I was using. I always used to forget what he was going to say. I just say that and then walk off. Oh, look, a prisoner. Is it a prisoner? Dunno. Um, I'm using the axe. No, I'm not. Why was it so slow? Oh. I feel like you got your hands tied. My goodness, that's a way to go, isn't it? Okay, so I think the, the way some of them die is quite jank, isn't it? You wouldn't want rigor mortis setting in like that and then to be identified by a relative, would you? Um... My goodness! Who are you? What's all that nonsense about? We're dying. Um, we're proper dying. Ashley! Ashley! Here she comes. What? I can't move. Am I just stuck on Ashley or something? Yeah, I, hmm, I was really struggling to move at that point. We're running out of time, soldier. 
All right, attitude. Yeah, so seeing as that asset was in, I wonder whether there's going to be other references as we play on to other games. Because surely that wasn't just bought as an asset, that building in uh, Arcade Paradise. Surely not. But I don't know. I don't really know how it all works. Don't know how anything works. Hello, madam. Don't worry. So obviously I should be sleeping and then doing this during the day, shouldn't I? Is there a little bed in this caravan that I can just go and have a little lay down in? Or we can have a little lay down in? Uh, oh dear. Okay. I learned a lot from this battle. Yeah? Okay, that's janky. Right, Ashley, we've got to go and find a bed somewhere. What time is it? Does it say time anywhere on the screen? No. Way too convenient, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm hitting the fence at that point. Right. Oh. Can leave her too. I know that there was another zombie over there. Right, let's go in here and see whether there's a bed. Hello. How you doing? Have you got a spare bed? Spare room? Madam? Do you know what? I think I prefer the other knife. It's, um... That machete's just annoying me. And obviously, close quarters, you wouldn't really want... What's she on about? You wouldn't really want a, um... Uh... Okay. You wouldn't really want a machete. Right. I sleep on the sofa for a bit. A couple of hours. Oh, Chesterfields. Right, kick the door shut. Hello. Right, there's beds up here. Look. Can I sleep in them? Please let me sleep. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on the wall or something. So we just destroyed that. And all of that for nothing, because you can't sleep on a bed anyway. <sighs> right, B. Furniture. Um. Okay, so we can put one down. Right, let's um, pop it down on this corpse. Um. Them to keep me warm at night. Right, I'm gonna have a little rest. You'll be alright, Manny. Dido. Anyone get that reference? Back in a second. Right, sorry about that. I like to watch you sleep at night. She did have an absolute well, she still has an absolutely amazing voice, doesn't she? Right, come on in. Okay. Right. Uh, nice. Thanks. If you have any decent equipment, hand it over. All right, mugger. Okay. So I slept, but it's still not light. So should we go and sleep again? Hour 23. Right, that's what I should have been looking at, isn't it? Oh, come on now. Right, rest. So, let's see whether it makes time go by any quicker. It doesn't seem to, does it? Is it because we're fully rested already? I can't see anything else on the screen that says skip time. Okay, maybe it's because we're not in a position of safety or something. Um, so, yes. can I get the hammer? 
and demolish that. Because obviously if we need to be revived, I don't want to come back here, I want to go back to the house. Um, I think I just saw change text as I was destroying that. Yeah, Chesterfield, not my favourite colour. It's got to be that ox blood red in it. Um, well, this is quite a posh looking house, isn't it? My goodness, what was all that? Right, stabby stabby. So I just destroyed that by accident with my little stone knife. Yeah, they they really need to ragdoll a little bit better, don't they? Um, so they don't end up like that. Because a lot of them are ending up like that now. Um, right, what's this? And where was he keeping this? I dread to think. Okay, so we've got some brass knuckles now. Yeah, like I said before, I've used knuckle dusters. And I just, I don't understand them. It really, really hurt. Because I went full bore as well. Right, he's, um, he's armless now, isn't he? <laughs> oh, God, there's a joke there. Okay. Right, so where am I meant to be going? Let's just go and get this done, shall we? She'll be all right. My lovely kitchen. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be upstairs. Hello, mate. In the garage. This garage. Okay. Right. What, so we need to go up even more, do we? Oh, hello. How did you get here so quick? I didn't see you. And you got changed as well. What's going on there? I found the access card. Now, you go and get the mutant substance from Victor. Uh, say please. I'll wait at the safe house I usually use for transactions. There are various items there, so if you need anything, come find me. Of course, it's not for free. You might have to do a small favor for me. I'll mark the location of the safe house on the map you have. Take the access card from the clothes next to you and leave immediately. Um, I really don't like this bloke. I really don't like you, mate. I don't like your attitude. I'd put you in your place in real life. Fortunately, we can continue tracking the mutant substance. Seeing cowardly wolves. And then next time Ashley saw him, she go, he's he's all right actually, isn't he? Oh okay, yeah. Yeah, and he just. And then she'd think, what's, what's going on? Does he think I fancy him? That's what she'd be thinking. Right. Okay. What are you doing? Right, um... Collapse if I don't eat something soon. Well, have something to eat then, Ashley. You don't have to wait for me. Um... What do I, do we need to... Here you go. Do you want an energy bar? I have half my Snickers. Oh yeah, she now ate one straight away. To feel energized. Good, I'm glad to hear it. You're doing great, by the way. I really appreciate you. Maybe, uh, maybe chew it, though. I'm just swallowing a Snickers whole. Got nothing to prove around me. Right. Um, okay, so now we need to go that way. And, uh... So can I? Yeah, I can save it wherever. All right, let's have a quick look through here then. Don't fear the enemy. We're stronger. Um, yeah, aren't we just? I mean, we are until they update the game. Oh god, I've got such a headache. This. I've been waiting for this moment. I've just remembered I've got a bow and arrow, haven't I? Um, let's try a headshot. 
No. Hello, <laughs> uh, mate. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's too easy to um, hit other things that are around. Like that tree I was hitting then. You see the damage on it. Right, we're at 45 minutes, so we haven't really got time to do much more of a story at the moment. And also, I've just thought, so we probably should mark our house. Um, so, place marker. And then, can we rename this or anything? I don't think we can. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, and so far... I like the zombie, so that's something that I will say from seven days to die. Um, yeah, some like some of the zombies are just annoying. So the policeman, for instance, I suppose there was that thing with the harpoon earlier, though. That was a little bit annoying. So when I play games like this. I want the zombies to be quite predictable and I want them to kind of go down quite easy as well but unfortunately um, that's quite a small section of gamers because some people want a real challenge don't they? What's that? What am I looking at? What the hell is this? It's a student, isn't it? With one of them things on their head that I never had. <sighs> yeah, so instead of furthering my education, I decided to just work more hours and not advisable. Um, what's this? Redhead rooster. Okay. Hopefully Ashley can't die. Because I'm just abandoning her, aren't I? But I didn't say to her, go and attack them people. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is all about. I'm trying to get home. It's only over there. Right, it is Ashley. She's fine. Right, come on Ashley. Let's just go home. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, with the harpoon. Not my kind of thing. Because once you start putting too much difficulty in a game, then I don't enjoy playing it so much because I don't want to just keep dying. That's one of the reasons why I don't play games like Call of Duty, um, Battlefield. Just constant death over and over again isn't really yeah, appealing to me. Um, I wonder if we both run into hospital. Ashley, come on. Come on, Ashley. Straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back. Oh. Right, back in a moment. Okay, unfortunately it's glitched. I just I can't move or do anything and um Ashley's dead. Yeah, I literally couldn't move. Um taking a bit too many hits. So we'll spawn Okay, so spawn nearby. So that that's a little bit of um bad English. Okay, so Ashley's actually down. Um so let's just run around and see whether we can oh no she actually disappeared at that point no she didn't she's over there um oh look she's right here okay revive right Ashley just go go so um right our house is over here and we're now out of stamina my goodness she's gonna die again um so I think what I'm gonna do
is quick save it here and then come on here because I need to figure something out now, don't I? Um, that hoards quite the size. So I was saying about how easy it was earlier. Um, yeah, and then I've done this. So, yeah, don't just run around like a lunatic like I am because obviously lots and lots of people come. So we'll end it here. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've enjoyed this, please feel free to join me in the next one. Well, hopefully us. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.